Bali Island is one of the most favorite tourist destinations in Indonesia, a country in southeastern Asia. In 2016, an unbelievable number of four and a half million visitors spend their vacation here. Approximately the same amount of people live permanently on this island. Beautiful rice fields and traditional life in the villages, Hindu temples or cheap markets full of interesting handcraft. All of these things are attracting many people to this tropical Eden. Bali is also a paradise for snakes. 43 species live here and populations of many of them have high densities here. Therefore, there are many encounters with humans and it can lead to dangerous situations. We are arriving to the house of Bali Reptile Rescue. It is a non-profit organization based in the biggest city of the island, Denpasar. Their activities focus mainly on rescuing snakes and other reptiles from homes of people who ask them for help. After six years of work, they have built a good reputation and they have a rescue action almost every day on various places on Bali. Before they started their activities, people were killing snakes in gardens and houses because they were afraid of them and they didn't have any better solution. The rescued snakes are released as far away from people as possible. The biggest attention is paid to transport of venomous species. There are not many of them on Bali, but some are very abundant, such as pit vipers. These arboreal vipers can be often found in the gardens. Uh, like when they bite, uh -huh. sometimes when they they like like they bite like yeah, I understand. They have rear fangs, fangs, so they they, they need more time to to uh -huh. to bite. I will get painful the the purple color in this area uh -huh. or sometimes this area. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I cannot move my finger like uh -huh. hard because they have hemotoxin venom also like viper but not strong like viper. Yes, I understand. And then. Just for three days, one week, because dif different people, di different person, different, different antibody. Of yeah. Agus Putra was talking about the bite of a mangrove snake, which is not deadly venomous and lives only on a small part of the island. It was probably introduced there. We have in our hands a rare black and white form. The common one has black and yellow color. During our night walk in the rice fields, we find the keeled slug-eating snake. 
This snake is specialised in eating snails and has a strange shape of its head. Then we encounter the Malayan crate, which belongs to the most venomous snakes in the world. In the fields and around the villages, it is possible to find many snakes. Most of them are active during the night and just some of them can be dangerous for people. The coast is not a very good habitat for snakes. The only exception are the sea snakes. Before the night, a colony of flying foxes gathers in the cave on the beach. It seems that they are going to fly out soon. These bats eat mostly fruit and they are active not only during the night. The cave is protected as part of the Hindu temple complex, so they are not disturbed. We are waiting for the darkness, when the animal we are searching for comes out on the coast. It is the yellow lip sea crate. Its tail is typical for sea snakes, fin-like shapes, which helps the reptile to swim. Here on Bali, the yellow lip sea crate often comes to the beach during the night and rests on the rocks. Sea snakes have the strongest venom among all snakes, so their prey, which is mostly fish, are paralyzed within seconds. The yellow lip crate is a very calm species, and it is possible to handle it by hand. Even after the release, the snakes on this island may face many threats. There are too many people around, so very often these reptiles come close to cities or villages again. Even though some extraordinary snake species live here, like the reticulated python, this youngster can grow up to 10 meters in the future, and it is the longest snake in the world. It is possible to find here also the longest venomous snake in the world, a true queen of snakes. King Cobra Magnus in up got got sun in the morning and the evening like that. This is too too much bamboo, so not for for the nest. This year we find this. Same in here, like this example. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. next year, we find the same too. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But dif uh, uh, different mother. Different individual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The King Cobra inhabits a huge area from South India to Indonesia, and on most places, it lives far away from people. On Bali, it crawls just behind the houses of villagers because bigger forested areas are not present on the island nowadays. Until 2000, nobody even knew that King Cobra lived on Bali.
It was discovered by Eddie Patu, a man who dedicated his life to protection of the Queen of Snakes. We are in his house, full of various animals which were orphaned or he has rescued them from pet markets. He worked with King Cobras on a daily basis and this was finally fatal to him. In March of 2016, Eddie died after one King Cobra bit him when he tried to relocate it far away from the area where it was found. King Cobra can grow longer than five meters and its bite can kill an adult elephant. When you look to the eyes of this snake, you realize how intelligent it is. It never stops to look at you. Working with an individual three and a half meters long requires two experienced handlers. Every mistake can be fatal. If the bitten human doesn't get medical treatment within a few hours after the accident, he or she usually dies. People from Bali Reptile Rescue are trying to continue with the work Eddie started and they protect the population of King Cobra in Bali. Apart from relocating snakes, which come too close to people, they communicate with local communities and teach them how to live with snakes in peace. King cobras are very calm snakes, which are always trying to avoid any encounters, and they never attack if not feeling in danger. They are attracted to houses because of their prey, which consists almost entirely on other snake species. These snakes are attracted to human proximity by rodents. Bali Reptile Rescue is changing the way how people think about snakes and today most of the people don't kill these interesting reptiles, but they call these experts to come and relocate them.